Hi, uh, today we're going to sign up for an account on the Seattle University Web Dev Slack.com site. So the name of our Slack uh, account is SU Web Dev, short for Seattle University Web Developers. And so what you need to do to sign up is to go to this link here, HTTPS suwebdev.slack.com slash sign up. And once you're on this page, you will <clears throat> enter your email. You can use your, your Seattle U email address to sign up. So my email address is peltzer, P-E-L-T-Z-R, at seattleu.edu. And so I'll just click on Create Account. And this will send an email to me, which I will need to go to to complete the sign up. And here I am in Slack. Confirm, and I'll send a confirm email. So I'm going to type my full name here. I'll just I'll use Becky Helps. And password. Okay, and we'll uncheck that and say create account. And you can save that password if you want, uh, if you're using, I'm using Chrome here. Um, and this is what happens. I am now signed on as Becky Peltz, and I can see information here about myself and about this Watts. You'll notice we signed into SU Web Dev, but it's labeled Watts up here, so that can be confusing. A couple of things that you can uh, no notice here are that you can turn off notifications, so you can pause them if you don't want to have <clears throat> notifications pop up in your uh, desktop or your phone. You can set to not disturb, um, but in general, what you're interested in are all the channels, and you will want to sign up for, for to be in part of our channels. And you can see that the courses have channels, and you probably just want to join the channels that you are taking courses in, because you don't need to be bothered with messages for courses you're not taking. Um, and so let's take a look at how to do that. So first of all, you um, will notice that the general and random are sort of more highlighted than these other channels. You're, you've been joined to those by default. So you can see I'm in general and I'm in font pair. Or I'm sorry, I'm, I'm in random. But if I want to join another channel, let, let's say, and I would recommend joining conferences, events, helpline, labs, links and videos, meetups, opportunities, quiz, and then whatever courses you're in. But there are two ways that you can do that. You can go to a channel, like let's go to conferences, and you can say join channel, okay, and then you're in the channel. Um, or you can click on channels and you can just go find channels and join them. So you could go here and uh, go to labs and join that. So either way you can get so that you are part of certain channels. And then it's giving you some, um, some recommendations there about other channels to join. So definitely, I mean, I wouldn't join Ancient Father. That's probably a student channel that's, that's doing some special work. But uh, labs, random, uh, helpline, help links and videos, meetups, opportunities. Here you'll find we post some jobs and internship information, uh, meetups, if you want to stay on top of meetups, which I recommend. Quiz, we sometimes throw out quiz questions here. Um, and then whatever, each quarter, whatever courses you're taking. So if you're starting out in 3010, you might want to join that 3010 channel. Um, so that's how you get into the channels. Now, once you're in there, you can um, post whatever you want. And sometimes, if you're not used to posting, I recommend practice posting. So you direct messages are a way that you can talk directly to somebody. So if I wanted to talk to Amanda T, I could create a direct message or DM with her, and only she and I would see it. But sometimes I'll use my own 
direct message to test things out, you know. Like sometimes I play with Giphy, and Giphy allows you to type <clears throat> sort of like an app slash Giphy, and I can um, put in here some kind of a theme, and I can look at Giphy's, you know, and if I can, so I can kind of try out some of the more advanced options here, and if I posted that, I could um, send it to myself right now. But if I did that on a regular channel, everyone in the channel would see it. And I can also do code. So if I put three tick marks and, um, you know, let a equal 10, you can see that it posts it in a different format looking more like code. I can pick up uh, various um, information from my pick up files from my hard drive and upload those and have that be available. So you can practice some of that in here. And then when you feel comfortable, go out and start posting into the public channels. So that's how to get going with, with Slack. Uh, one more thing. You can use Slack uh, on the web, um, but I like to use it as an app. And if you go to slack.com slash downloads, It'll figure out whether you're using Mac or Windows or Linux. And you can download this app and install it. And once it's downloaded, you can run it. So let's bring up Slack. And with Slack, as a, I, I just find it somewhat easier to manage and um, than having to go in and log into a website. To get this going. So now this is kind of just always running in my background and I can quickly pull it up and look for different things, you know, going on in here. So um, I recommend that if you, and you know, you can create your own Slack accounts for your friends, for your classmates. So it's a, just a good communication tool, a chat tool that you can use. Um, and so just another recommendation for using Slack is to use the app.